Hello, my name is Detective Daniel Aiken of the Miami-Dade Police Department Homicide Bureau. On Wednesday, April 7, 2021, at approximately 8.38 p.m., units from the Miami-Dade Police Department South District Uniform Patrol Section was dispatched to the area of Southwest 118th Avenue and Southwest 222nd Street in reference to a shot spotter call. As the units arrived at that location, a secondary call went out of person shots just north of Southwest 224th Street and 115th Avenue. Upon their arrival at the scene, uniform units discovered three male juveniles suffering from gunshot wounds. Miami-Dade Fire Rescue arrived on the scene and determined that a male identified as Clinton Young, black male 17, was deceased on scene. The other two individuals were transported to a local hospital where they were treated for their injuries. The initial shot spotter indicated approximately 26 rounds. However, once the investigation began, we were able to recover over 50 plus casings on the scene. It's a situation that we take very serious and during the course of our investigation, uh, we determined that we needed more individuals to come out and assist us. We passed out hundreds of flyers within the neighborhood as well as we've spoken to several people trying to get someone in the community to come forward and say that they've seen something or come forward with any information that may help us to catch these individuals. The community has to come forward. We can't sit there and wait till it hits your front doorstep. You have to come forward. You have to participate. You have to get involved. If you see something, say something. You may be the one that brings closure to that family that's hurting, that's missing a loved one. We're urging the community, anyone with information in reference to this case or any other homicide cases to come forward to call our Crime Stoppers tip at 305-471-TIPS and you can remain anonymous and report what you've seen, when you saw it, and where it occurred and any other additional information that you may have. What we need to do is we need to get back to the days where we can go to a park with our families and be able to fellowship and have fun without worrying about this type of senseless gun violence happening or anything else happening that may affect us and or our loved ones and to make those door knocks to those parents and, and to give them that information that their loved one isn't coming home anymore it really uh, needs to stop